Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel Jahangir Science School. Today I am going to discuss about uh, turning effect of force. Uh, turning effect of force should occur again. Our first time we will talk about force. Force is the external cause which can change the state of motion, direction of motion, and shape and size. It's called force. So force is the external cause. जेटा बाहरे थे के अप्लाई करा होए एक टा ऑब्जेक्ट के ऊपर जार फॉले ऑब्जेक्ट टा तर रेस थे के मोशन है जाए अथवा मोशन थे के रेस थे जाए दैट मेंस स्टेट ऑफ मोशन चेंज होए डिरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन चेंज होए अथवा शेप एंड साइज चेंज होए इसी टाइप होते फोर्स फोर्स आरेक्ट टा जिनिश करते पड़े जो � ताहले शे फोर्स टाके बोला है टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स, सो टर्निंग इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स आल्सो नोन एस मोमेंट, मोमेंट, हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट मोमेंट, मोमेंट देर इज अ फॉर्मूला मोमेंट इक्वल टू, मोमेंट इक्वल टू फोर्स इनटू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पी फोर्ट, व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ uh, distance perpendicular distance between line of action of the force and pivot so this one is the line of action of the force and this one is the pivot so these distance make uh, a right angle that means 90 degree 90 degree that's why moment moment is a vector quantity remember moment is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction remember the physical quantity which have both magnitude and direction is called vector quantity. So moment is a vector quantity. Unit is Newton meter because unit of force is Newton and unit of distance is meter. So the SI unit of moment is uh, Newton meter. There are two types of moment. One is clockwise and another is anticlockwise. Say this one, uh, an object, an object, pivot is at the middle this one is the pivot say there there is an object weight is w1 the perpendicular distance from the pivot to pivot pivot to line of action of the force is d1 and there is another object another object w2 w2 and distance is d2 distance is d2 so uh, this force w1 produces a clockwise moment about this pivot so pivot is o and here object a and object b so weight of the object is w1 so w1 produces a clockwise moment about the pivot and W2 produces an anticlockwise moment. Uh, moment. So we know clockwise moment, clockwise moment, moment equal to W1 force into perpendicular distance d1, and anticlockwise moment, anticlockwise moment. The moment is W2 into D2. According to the principle of moment, remember total clockwise moment is equal to total anticlockwise moment. So, in equilibrium, in equilibrium, equilibrium mane taki. Equilibrium mane hunch balance. In equilibrium, uh, in equilibrium, total clockwise moment W1 D1 equals to w2 into d2 so the sum of total uh, sum of clockwise moment is equal to uh, anti clockwise moment uh, another uh, method or technique to calculate the uh, moment so total downwards force equal to total upward force so if an object is in equilibrium then the sum of clockwise moment is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moment. 